And Gene, you, you've been working on uh, putting this book together. Oh my God, man, yeah. It's, it, it's been a difficult time because, you know, um, when you go back and you started replaying your life, you know, first as a kid, you know, that's real, you know, I met my mother when I was 12. I met my father when I was 16. Wow. So, you know, due to trials and tribulations I went through as a child, you know, and I, you know, became a man, it's going through that journey of life. And sometimes you say to yourself, damn, how did I make it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's only through the grace. Um, can you, do we do we have a, a release date yet, or what's going on? Well, we was trying to get to uh, Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving, you know, actually to have it done so we could bring it up. But you know, like when you dealing with people, and like when I was with Simon and Schuster, and they was trying to do it, you know, it went quick, fast, in a hurry. And then uh, one day I walk in and. She don't want to write the book no more. That was yeah. Karen Hunter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, uh, my friend Shay, she could tell you, the book we got right there is about 200 and some pages, but all of a sudden you don't want to finish the book. What, mm. what, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I finds out why. Some outside, some outside influence. <laughs> yeah, some very outside wow. influence. You know what I'm saying? After they gave me a contract for 75000 who does that? You know, they got the money to do it. Yeah. yeah, you understand. So nobody gives nobody twenty five thousand up front and then say to them, "Oh, we decide we don't want to write your book right now. It's not interesting." So my book is not interesting. I've been on YouTube in less than nine, less than, a year. This yeah, made a year. A year. Uh, November the ninth made a year, and myself, I have over eleven million views. You know, on my channel, yeah. myself. Not saying what I have on Wisdom Clear. Not saying what I have on MREC TV yeah. and other people who have stolen stolen things. On my channel alone, I have over 11 million views. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, hmm, mm -hmm. it's not interesting. Yeah. yeah, you know, I sit there and tell a story, and people be captivated. You know what I'm saying about the story. When I I did the biblical betrayal of Biggie Smalls. A grown man told me, yo, I was crying. Wow. He said, I was crying. That's so let, let's get into that for, for our viewers that don't know your story. Um, what made you get into uh, the line of work that you were in? From the very beginning with bodyguard work and just law enforcement, what motivated you young to start? Well, I don't think like, like any other job or any kind of situation you get into, sometimes you know the atmosphere, the time and the place plays a position. Yeah. You know, I used to always beat up bullies. Mm. You know, I, people who used to, growing up, and they would tell you, if I see somebody picking on somebody, you know, because I was trained in boxing, trained in karate, yeah. you know what I'm saying, at an early age and stuff like that, I'd be like, yo, I bet you can't do me like that. Yeah. I bet you won't do me like that. Yeah. Why don't you pick on somebody that's going to fight you back? Uh, you understand? Always had that protective, like, you know, instinct, so, somewhat yeah. like yeah. that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, it went on through college and everything like that. And I think uh, when I became a part of uh, this clique called The Same Game, uh, I took on that role too. Mm -hmm. You know, we was giving parties, so I was doing the security and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, I could, you know, cultivate a good security team. So we got real big in the city, mm -hmm. our security team. We used to call it Slick in the Family. And when our security team got big, mm -hmm. everybody wanted us to do the front door. Because in New York, you got you to re remember, mm -hmm. when you give a party, everybody's important. Nobody want to wait online. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you had to have a security team that regulate. Could, could regulate <coughs> that. Mm -hmm. And my team did it. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. <laughs> 